What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we are back at it again with another video. As you guys can tell by title and thumbnail, we are gonna be reading y'all assumptions about us. Some of y'all are nice, some of y'all are mean, some of y'all are just weird. Here we go, first assumption about us. You're weird and I'm the freaky. Weird in what context? I don't know, but I would say that's accurate. Weird in like, hmm? You be having your weird moments. Okay, but weird in, like I said, weird in what context? Cause like, like things in bed, no. Weird things, no, I think they just mean weird. Like you're just weird and I'm the freaky one. I guess, yeah. You're a weird person and I'm a freaky person. <laughs> but like, how am I weird? I don't know, when you just start getting in your moods, like where you just start acting like loony, like. Okay, yeah. You be on some crazy stuff, especially at night, like two in the morning when she's like really, really tired, that's where it comes out. You're gonna take that? Yeah. I would say it's pretty accurate. Mm. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> next assumption is... Wait, don't put me off blast with the first one. <laughs> the next one is that I don't allow you to drive your own car. Oh my God, I got one about the, my car too. Uh, it is not that I don't allow her to drive her own car. She drives her car a lot by herself whenever she goes out and has appointments or whatever the case is. She drives a lot. However, if we're both going somewhere, nine times out of 10, I'm going to be the one driving and that's just... That's just the way it is. Since the beginning of our relationship, it's just like, I'd rather drive. But isn't that normal in relationships? Like, I just don't understand. Like, you know we live crazy? together, we've lived together for years, like... You know what's crazy? I feel when you're young, the guy drives a lot. This is personally from what I see in relationships. Young couples, the guy always drives. And then when they get older, I'm talking like 30s into the 40s and 50s. For some reason, I start to see more of the girl driving. I feel like the guy just doesn't drive anymore. Well, I don't like driving, period. I know you don't. Have y'all driven in Florida? Like, I don't it's think It's so fun. Understand. It's not fun. It's so fast. And, exactly. And on top of that, I'm still learning the roads. Like, we, I drove in Miami, and the turning lanes and the straight lanes, they're very different from Jersey. It's so weird. <laughs> so I'd just rather just not. <laughs> okay, babe. <laughs> the next assumption I got is we want to travel all around the world but refuse to take a long flight. That's more so me. That's more so me. I cannot stand flights and it's not because I'm scared of them or anything like that. I get antsy. Like a flight from like here to like Jersey is like two and a half hours. I can't sit for that long. I start getting irritated. It's like I have to move around. It's like, I don't know, maybe I have ADHD or something. I just cannot sit still. No, it is. I'm not really. Yes, sir. Well, not a huge, not a huge reason. So like it just, that's part so much going of the on reason. in life right now. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. We don't have time to travel at the moment. Like, we're handling a lot of things. So the wedding. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Because there's like a bunch of, it's not even just the wedding. There's like other things that just go on in our life. Yeah. Like appointments and stuff we have to get done. It's just, it's a lot. So that's not the reason there's why. A lot but I do on. hate long flights. So that's partial, partially yes. true. Partial, tr partially true. You get bored of cars easily. That is 100% true. Facts. I have not owned a no car. Friend for longer than two years. And I've had many, many cars since I was able to drive. I've had probably about maybe like seven or eight cars in the span of like eight years. I'm averaging like one car a year type stuff. I feel like you had more cars than that. Nah, no, nah, I'm not gonna get it into one because I could, there's a, it's a long list. <laughs> but yeah, I get bored easily and it's because when I first get the car, I go all out and then there's like nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. So it's like on to the next car. I don't know if this was like an insult or not, oh but I'm, I'm gonna just take it as a joke because you wish that your videos would get more views than they currently do. Of course. I would love if every video we dropped was just a banger and like did views and all like that. But I have a theory and I'm gonna I'm gonna whisper this. So hopefully they don't catch on to it. We feel like YouTube doesn't like us. I'm just no, literally. It. I'm gonna leave it just like that because I swear we were like booming at one point and then something happened with our channel that you know, we had no control over. Oh, we never ever talked since about then. That. No, we haven't. And ever since then, since they messed with us, our channel has not been the same. Basically, so, we're definitely not being pushed like we used to, and I think we there's don't a reason lie. behind it. And oh my god, I don't want to talk about it because then they're just gonna like. I'm just gonna stay quiet. Yeah, I'm gonna stay quiet. So like, I mean, personally though, and everything's about views. You know what I mean? It's, it's not. Really That's why you always have to have multiple streams of income. YouTube isn't our only stream of income. We have like four or five other ones. Y'all are kind, good. Y'all are good, kind-hearted people. Y'all care about your family and friends, and full of knowledge. Mm -hmm. I would say that's pretty accurate. We do care about our family and our friends yeah. and our loved ones, and we would do anything for them. Full of knowledge. I'm gonna I, say who's full of knowledge, cause I I'm not. I was gonna say I'm, I'm assuming you're calling us like smart and stuff like that. I mean, thank you. I'll take it. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm stupid. I think I'm kind of dumb. I don't know. I'm book smart. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, she is book smart. I, I used am, to copy her in high school. Yeah. Like, Without her knowing. Straight A, A's and like three B's student, unless it was math. Then math was... I wouldn't have passed chemistry without her. Yeah. Sometimes I could be a little airheaded, I think. I feel like everybody has their airheaded moments, though. I think when it comes to like, I don't know, certain things, I guess I, I have knowledge in certain areas. Like I'm a huge English major, like oh. stuff like that. Oh, like literature and things. Oh. I, I like that stuff. That's boring. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> you lick the bottom of Janice's foot during nasty time the way Patrick licked SpongeBob's foot. Ew. Now I don't I don't know what scene from SpongeBob you're talking about, and I'm a huge SpongeBob fan. I don't go anywhere near Janice's feet. That's disgusting. I know some people have like a fetish with that and they like like that type of that's not me. I'm not that type of guy. Yeah, I don't like my feet being touched either. I'm good. If I'm ever touching her feet, it's to annoy her. Her feet don't come near me. Like, yeah. I'd just rather not. And I would literally kick him. Yeah, no, she would. Tries. She would. When I just try to mess with her and, like, you know, annoy her, tickle her or something like that, she, she goes crazy. Somebody said that we're a great couple and we will be great parents. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I um, feel like we will be great parents. I know I'm going to be a great parent. The time is going to come really, really soon. Don't be saying that. They're going to think we're pregnant. We're not <clears> pregnant. <throat> we're not pregnant, but the time is going to come really, really soon. Yeah, we definitely want to start trying after the wedding, so... And then another assumption kind of goes hand in hand with that. They said, your kids are going to be smart and bright when they go to school like we were. I would hope so, because if I have a stupid child, I'm going to be mad. I'm not going to allow my kids to be stupid. <laughs> I just feel like sometimes this generation of parents are so tired, and they just let their kids do whatever they want. And that's yeah. not going to be me. Like, yeah. no, you're going to go to school because school is important. You're going to go outside. You're going to ride your bike. You're going to fall off. Yes. You're going to be a kid and not, you know, a... Uh, an iPad or a tablet kid. Yeah, that not is gonna. not happening. You're gonna be a kid kid. You're gonna grow up the way we grew up. Exactly. The next one is, you guys struggle with people viewing your socials and sometimes money is tight. So that's why I said I'm gonna piggyback off of that one. Because people are saying, like, they're assuming that money is tight. No, like one thing about Isaiah and I is that we are go-getters. Like we're never gonna let that bank account get too low. You know what I mean? So it's like, we're not struggling. I mean, we live in a beautiful home. Are paying for a huge wedding. Look at our wedding that you let us know. I, <laughs> struggling. I, feel, like, I feel like they're judging that or assuming that off of just the fact like our I feel our attention or our status on YouTube isn't yeah. what it used to be. And I completely get it. You guys would assume that. I would assume the same thing if I didn't know like behind the scenes and stuff like that, like what goes on. But like I said, this is why you have to have multiple streams of income. We have about like five off the top of my head if I'm not missing any. So YouTube can go down the drain and we're we'll still fine. Good. You yeah. know what I mean? Like there's, we have way more other money coming in. Genuinely, we, we do YouTube just like honestly, for the people who have been riding with us for so long and who like want to see our videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we could stop doing YouTube and- Another thing is too, is I feel okay. like we're not as like flashy as like the other couples. If you want to spend money, you go ahead and spend money. Mm -hmm. I'm, that got nothing to do with me. Your money got nothing to do with me. However, that's just not us. You know what I mean? Like if we like to be low key about it and not wear the flashiest stuff, like you guys always see me. I'm in basic t-shirts and basketball shorts majority of the time. You know what I mean? We're just not that couple that just likes to show out. Yeah, I think that a lot, like like us doing social media, this is gonna get really deep into this. When we first started, we felt like we had to fit a certain aesthetic for people to like us. And keeping up with an image is exhausting. My whole point is that it doesn't matter. Like we're not going to change ourselves just to fit in a certain social media influence or image yeah. that's the whole point so it's like if that means that our views are gonna be like a little uh or like you know we're not getting as much yeah. love as other people that's fine because i'm just gonna stay being myself like don't get it wrong like if we wanted to go out and just buy like mad christian dior stuff we can go do that yeah however we just we're not that type of people you know what mm -hmm. i mean we have nice things every now and then but yeah you know it's not what we wear every single day and that's just because the type of people we are if you want to wear nice stuff every single day then by all means god bless you do it I don't yeah. care what you do. But yeah, so the moral to that whole tangent that we went on is we're not struggling. And I mean, me personally, couldn't care less about the views. I just do it for the people who want to show love, want to watch us. And that's it. Their assumption is we might sneak away during our wedding reception to make a baby. Nah, <laughs> we'll save that for after porn. I was going to say, we need to live in the moment. Every moment we get to have to be in that situation we're not running away any time, any, at any mo moment. Guys, I'm telling you, like, our wedding, I feel like, is gonna be one of the best events 
ever in our lives because we're literally getting everybody together. I'm talking like our influencer friends, our friends back home, our family. So it's gonna be literally everybody we love is just gonna come all together mm -hmm. and we're just gonna have a great time. I feel like there's nothing better than that. Yeah, I've low-key wanted to have like a party like for the longest with all of the people that we love and it's crazy that they're literally all gonna be together. Whoever you see at the wedding, just keep this in mind. If y'all see them at the wedding, whoever it is, we consider them family. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be a great time, I'm telling you. I can't yeah. wait for that day. I can't wait for it, oh my God. Yeah. It's gonna be so fun. Next one is, well this is like half and half, it's like a question too. You guys are always happy, and then they basically ask like how we have a happy relationship marriage. Like what's the key to having a happy like relationship for as long as we've been together? It's like the, the cliche thing is just communication, honestly. If something bothers you, just speak up and say it and vice versa. Learn how to talk your problems out instead of just like yelling at each other or just being petty. Like, just be like, listen, let's talk about it and let's get over it because this is pointless. Like, we should not be arguing. That's literally like how we handle stuff. Mm -hmm. if, if it's like that serious where like we're really pissed off, we might give each other like the silent treatment for a little bit. But other than that, it's like, Eventually, we're gonna talk about it and just settle it because there's no point of arguing. Somebody, like this person always like is giving us hate, low-key shade. He said, I can't drive, which is why you're always driving my <laughs> truck in every YouTube video. I could drive. Like I said, nine times out of ten, if we're both going somewhere, I will be driving. But Janice drives her car a lot. It's just we're not recording whenever she does exactly I mean? like whenever we're on the go like i'm the one to record and that's just how it goes but yeah i drive my own car like i, like I just go guy places thing too, by like. myself i'm not gonna sit there and film wherever i go i just like doing it because i feel like it's just the guy's job like you should be driving your lady around you know what i mean i feel like that's handle that it's like a guy kind of thing isaiah doesn't or just about satisfies you in bed so it's more so for me i mean that's I can't speak on that. That's on you. All I can say is I do get the job done. I, <laughs> you can you can testify to it if I do it well or whatever. You can say however you feel. I really don't care. I wouldn't be with him this long if things weren't good. That's all I'm going to say. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so somebody said, you guys probably don't allow anyone or anything to influence your decisions. Pretty true. Yeah. We go based off of... We like, go based off of, like, sorry. Like what we want to do, how we feel. I'm not going to do something just because somebody's telling me to do it. I don't know. We have a, we have a mind for ourselves. I'm going to just leave it at that. For the most part. Me for the wedding planning, I need so many opinions all of a sudden. I, mean, like, I can't different, make a though. decision. That's different though. Like We're not easily influenced. I'm just going to put it like that. All right, one more and then we're done. Somebody said, you secretly wished you have gotten married already. Yes and no. I feel like... In order to get married, you have to learn the person that you're with. You have to be, you have to go through the stages of a relationship, you know what I mean? And I feel like Janice and I, we hit all those stages. Like we hit the, the honeymoon phase, we hit the arguing stage, we hit the lovey-dovey phase. Like we went through all that, we live together, we know how each other's habits are. Until you go through all that, then I would say you could go ahead and get married. I don't understand couples that they get married after being together for like one or two years. Or not, less. Not engaged for one or two years, like literally being together for one to two years and get married. I feel like you haven't learned that person yet. To spend the rest of your life with them like that, like you may think it and then two years later down the road, you see something completely different. But I've been with her, it's going on nine years. I proposed when we were together for seven years. No, eight years. Eight. Eight years. So I learned her a lot. Yeah. I know who she is. I've seen her at her best and her worst and she's seen me at my best and my worst. So. Mm -hmm. the last one is I give the roughness and you're more bubbly. So basically like I'm the serious mean one, I guess, and you're the one that's more like- It depends what we're talking about. It depends what we're talking about. Are we talking about like being in public? No, just our personalities in general. They said you're what? I'm the like serious, like rough one. Like I'm not like fun, I guess, and playful and you're more I wouldn't say bubbly. Fun. I would say it's true. You think so? I would say you're more reserved. You're more like serious most of the time mm -hmm. versus me, I take everything as a joke. Like I know I, don't, I can't take anything serious. I also feel like you're more inclined to talk to people. I'm not, or trusting people or, you know what I mean? I'm not. No, for sure. I definitely give like people the benefit of the doubt and I always try to find the good in people. But once you do something that obviously makes me think otherwise, then that's it. But nine times out of 10, I will give you the benefit of the doubt and I will think you're a good person. I think also you're more inclined to forgiving people. I am, I'm but not. I feel like I do that more for myself because I don't like having like, I don't like holding grudges. 
and I don't like having like hate in my heart or anything like that. So it's like, if I just forgive you, I can just like move on with my life and then just be like, you know, I'm not gonna forget what you did or whatever it is that you did, but I did it for myself. And like, right, that part of my life is over, whatever, moving on. Yeah, I'm different, 100%. And I think this is why opposites attract because like, I guess if it comes to the personality, I feel like I'm actually more out there than he is, but it's only with him or people I, I am close with. If I don't know you, you are not gonna get any type of like, personality out of me and then as well as like forgiving people or like stuff like that i i don't really forgive people easily it takes a lot and i hold grudges like a motherfucker it's not good though i don't care that's just how i am you can still like no that's a that's a <laughs> no, no it's a, it's it's a, into a whole therapy session i was gonna say that's a whole therapy session we're not no gonna because it's that. just like i i I'm, I'm the type of person like i feel heavy on energy and if you give me weird energy, I'm not gonna fuck with you ever. So. I will say you're pretty good at reading people. I am. But yeah, that's it for today's video. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys want us to do another part of this video, comment down below. Anything else you wanna say, babe? Mm -mm. With all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.